don't see the point of thinking about my ideal man while I'm the size of a hippo. A real man would care more about what you think than how you look. <laughs> okay, what planet did you come down from? I don't think I've ever met a man like that. I mean, most of them are surprised to find that you can think at all. Well, Matty's not like that. Oh, okay, well, Matty's different then. Which is why he's my ideal man. Hmm. Well, I'm not looking for one anyway. But if I was, it would have to be someone that let me think for myself and wasn't always telling me what to do. Charity asked me to check in on you. She's supposed to be resting. Well, that can wait. I'm fine. Are you still going on your walk? Yeah, I'm just off now, actually. I'll leave you two to it. Well, I know Charity didn't really ask you to check up on me, so... Why do you keep pestering me, Mackenzie? I... I would like us to be friends. OK, I realise I haven't handled things in the best way, <laughs> but if you give me a chance to explain... No, there's nothing to explain. I've told you to stop harassing me. Well, things have changed for me since you've let me feel the baby move, since I found out it's a boy. It all feels a bit more real. <sighs> yeah, well, I feel the baby move most of the time, and that's not changed the way that I feel about you. <laughs> OK. Um, in spite of what I've said in the past, I actually do care about this pregnancy. And I'm sorry, Chloe, but it's my baby too. No. No, don't pull that card on me now. It's far too late for that. I, I don't... I don't get why you're being like this. I'm just showing concern for you and the baby. But we don't want your concern. Right, you weren't too pleased when I came back from Scotland. You were, you were desperate for me to go back. Yeah, well... <laughs> I thought it was best that you stayed up there. Right, OK, let me get something straight. I know what's best for me, OK? And that's to stay here with Amy, because I finally feel like I've got a family again. I'm glad for you. I, I really am, but that doesn't stop me caring. Oh, but I don't, I don't want you to care. I don't want you to, to keep checking up on me. Well, I can't help how I feel. I know. I'm so... I'm so sick of you telling me about your feelings and you never once stopped to think about mine. Like, I've known from the start that I've had to care for this baby without you. And that's what you wanted too. Look, I know how mad it's been given the last couple of months, OK? And I'm, I'm just... I'm, I'm trying to get my head around it. Right, well, it's... It's too late. OK, if I want help, I've got Amy. And look... If you keep pestering me, Charity's going to get suspicious and I, I meant what I said before. I don't want to cause trouble. I don't, but if you leave me with no choice, then... I don't think that it will if we're careful. Mackenzie, if this is you being careful, I really don't want to see you taking a risk. Look, what is this about? Are you, are you getting cold feet about the wedding? Are you wanting Charity to find out so that you can use me as an excuse and duck out of it? No, no. Of course not. This this isn't about charity. This is... This is about me not wanting to lose contact with my baby. You need to stop talking about your baby. OK, we had a deal. We had a deal and, and we're sticking to it, so just leave, please. <laughs> 